Okay, so there's just one more thing I want to talk about before we move on to actually modeling stuff in Maya, and that is Maya's preferences. So if you go to Window, Settings and Preferences, Preferences, or alternatively, if you go to this little icon that I put on the Power Pack shelf, Prefs, it opens the exact same dialog. So it's just a little shortcut for you. Um, there's a lot of different preference settings here, and most of them don't matter uh, for what we're going to be doing, or you can leave them as default. But there's a couple of them I felt that were important to talk about. Um, and I'm just going to go through these, and we can talk about what comes in as default and what I would prefer you change it to. Um, if you go to UI Elements, just so you know, um, this is where, or I should say, this is yet another way that you can toggle things on and off in terms of the uh, visibility of these interfaces. Um, kind of unnecessary information, but there you have it. Uh, you notice that when I launched Maya, it opened up the perspective view and the outliner right next to it. Where is that outliner? There we go. If that's something that you want to do too, which I recommend you do, you can go right down here into panel configurations and say use this layout specified below every time you launch Maya. So you've got a whole bunch of stuff. Um, this is the, the default single perspective. Here's the four view. But what I prefer you use is the perspective outliner. So there's this little thing called the view cube, which I've turned off in my version of Maya, but if you like, you can turn it on. I think it's on by default. So there it is, pops up. And there's a bunch of different options here for you to toggle its visibility and, and the way it looks and things like that. Um, I'm gonna actually I think I'll leave it on. Okay. Now, let's see if we go to display. So a lot of the stuff you can just leave on the usual. And polygon. Just make sure that backface calling is turned off. I think it comes in this way by default. So settings. Uh, cameras. Okay, so there's one thing here that will save you a lot of time. Uh, you may notice, let me just go ahead and create a bunch of junk in my scene here so we can have some reference of space. So I've got this little 3D scene here, and if I use this, oops, not that, but there we go. So all these keys up here, these shelf buttons, refer to directions on this cube that I've set up in advance. And um, also, if you hit, if you select an object in Maya, and you hit the F button, the camera is going to focus it on that object. So the camera will just move to that object. Um, but you notice that it takes very little time for that to actually happen. Well, that's because it's set here to happen in 0.1 seconds. So, or 0.1 seconds or some other unit of time, I'm not sure. But we could actually change this to something like 0.9. And now, <laughs> it'll take that much longer. And I think by default, Maya has it set up to be 0.5 close this out here. Where did my preferences go? I lost my preferences window, but I can get it back by hitting prefs. There we go. Um, so by default it comes in at 0.5, and I just think that's a little bit too long for me. I like to keep it down to 0.1. I don't want it to be zero. You could have it just snap right to that, that point, but I think having that little transition helps you understand where you are in 3D space. So I keep it at 0.1. Uh, okay, so under Files and Projects, there's something very important here called Autosave. And um, this is something that I yell at my coworkers about too because some of them still don't use Autosave, even though they've been burned many, many times. But um, here's a deep and dark secret about Maya. It's not that stable of a program. Sometimes it is, and sometimes it, you know, you can go days without a crash, but more than likely you're going to run into this where you're working in Maya and everything's going smoothly, no problems, and all of a sudden a fatal error occurs and Maya just shuts down unexpectedly. It doesn't give you any time to save your work. Um, you know, this is an age-old problem and inside joke in the industry about Maya and just 3D software in general. Um, it's prone to crash. So, knowing this, Autodesk finally programmed in a little autosave feature that you can use. And I highly, highly, highly recommend that you do. Um, in fact, if I ever <laughs> if 
I ever have a dialogue with you and you're not using autosave, you'll hear about it from me. So just click autosave, enable right here. And what I like to do is I limit the number of autosaves. So it's going to save out uh, four increments and it's going to do it every five minutes. So if I have a file called cube1, it's going to save cube2, cube3, cube4, cube5, and then it's going to repeat and write over cube1 again. So basically you're buffered by 25 minutes of, or I should say 20 minutes of time. So if you had a Maya crash and you hadn't saved your work in a while, you're never going to lose more than five minutes of work. And you could even go back 20 minutes if you wanted to, if something else bad happened. Um, so you can set these to whatever you want. Um, you can change the number of autosaves to something huge, uh, but I think this is a pretty reasonable setting. Um, if you're working on a very small scene, you may want to just decrease this down to two minutes. That way, you never lose more than two minutes of work. Um, the downside to that is sometimes if you're working in a very complicated file, it could take longer to save. So I find that it's just beneficial to sort of keep it in the middle and save it at five minutes. Um, then click Named Folder, because we want to save to a discrete location. And in this case, I just created a folder on my C drive called Maya Autosave. So it saves all the files there. And um, if we go look at that, I've got all these autosaves going back to, I guess, uh, October 2012. So the downside to this is that eventually you're going to run out of disk space if you keep doing this. So I just clear it out every couple months, you know, and I don't even have that many saved up here right now because I don't use my laptop for Maya too much. Um, but my work computer, I've got a, a directory very similar to this and it's huge. I've got to delete it. So just be aware that those things will eventually accumulate and you should get rid of them if you don't need them anymore. But autosave in general, super essential and I definitely recommend it. Now one last note, autosave is not a replacement for your own saves. So I don't recommend that you rely on this only. You should still save your own increments of your work as you work and that way you're doubly protected. Um, yeah, I was going to relate to you a story about how I lost all this work, but you can, I'm going to spare you that. It's just, just do it. <laughs> okay, so under the modeling tab, uh, I usually keep everything selected as an action. Um, it's just two different ways of working, but most people don't even know the difference, but this is slightly superior. Uh, I'll leave it at that for now. Um, output geometry is polygons. Okay, and I think that might be just about it. Oh, okay, there's one other thing I want to talk about, and that's your undo queue. So as you're working in Maya, if you do stuff to this, you know, start making changes and deleting faces and stuff like that, every time you do something like this, it's re being recorded in Maya. And uh, if you don't like something you've done, Maybe this isn't really what I wanted to go for. Uh, this is looking kind of weird, so I want to undo this. All I have to do is do Control Z, or it might even be just Z. That's my hotkey. And as I hit Z, I keep going backwards. I'm going to go backwards in time until all these changes are gone. And then back to where I started. So that's controlled with this undo queue. So this is the queue of undos. And uh, what I do is keep undo on. You can turn it off for some reason, I guess to save memory or something. Um, you could set it to infinite, but I don't recommend that because if you're working on something like this for a long time and you maybe have your Maya session open for a long time, like maybe a day or two, or if it doesn't crash by then, then uh, all these undos will have to be stored somewhere and, and what's going to happen is it's going to take up some of your computer's memory and it, there's a chance maybe computers are fast enough that it wouldn't matter now but as a general philosophy we don't want to have data that we don't need so I like to keep mine finite and I have a thousand undos which is actually way more than I could ever possibly use maybe the most I've ever undo, undone something is maybe like a hundred times or something like that so 
a thousand is more than enough and it's not infinite so it's not going to eat up your computer's RAM so that's uh, my recommendation there and I think all this other stuff we can pretty much ignore for now and maybe the entire class we'll see if there's something we need to go back to then I'll make a note of it and show you again and then when you're done just hit save and save all those changes and uh, I think that's it so I think this is the conclusion of uh, the Maya overview hopefully it wasn't too much too fast uh, but again you can always rewatch the videos if you need to and uh, now let's get on to some real modeling <laughs>